Mm. Know what this smells like? Happiness in a pot. Hey guys, Mandy here, and I love helping you live your healthiest and happiest life. So today, I'm going to be creating one of my favorite recipes. It is a vegetable lentil curry. It is plant-based, it's easy on the bank, it has lots of protein, lots of healthy fiber, and it's not too difficult to create at home on your own. Another benefit of this recipe is the fact that you can make a batch like I'm gonna make today so that you can actually use it to make multiple meals throughout your week and that'll save you lots of time. So without further ado, let's get to the kitchen. But first, if you want lots of yummy extra recipes, then click the like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that you will be notified whenever I release a new video. All right, let's get cooking. These are the ingredients that you'll need for today's recipe. So one tip when you're cutting onions that you can do is to actually light a candle nearby. I don't usually have too much of an issue when I'm cutting them with crying because I wear contact lenses and I just don't find that they hurt my eyes. But if you do find that you are um, having any issues with that, then yeah, a candle placed nearby will help with that issue. All right, you will be able to avoid all sorts of vampires with this recipe. <laughs> I love garlic so much. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here with the garlic. So what you wanna do is pull it apart. And once you've pulled it apart, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, so with each bulb, what you're gonna do is place it like this. Take the side of your knife and just go like this. This way, it actually lets it crack open and it makes it way, 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 way easier to peel, if you see. And then once you have it out, then you can start chopping it. Tip when you're buying any sort of canned goods, do not pay for any sort of labels, typically, Obviously there's exceptions to the rule, but usually when it comes to things like canned tomatoes or tomato paste or any of that kind of stuff, even beans, usually you're just paying more for the brand name. So go for the cheapest ones possible. These are our crushed tomatoes. Just gonna pour it in here. Oh yeah. All right, so I am going to start grinding the coriander seeds now. This is a pestle and mortar. <laughs> and the reason why is because when you do this, it excretes much more flavor than the store-bought spices. And you might say, well, why would you not do this with everything? You know, some spices and herbs are better to do this with than others, and this way it's gonna really pack a flavorful punch in this recipe. What you want to actually do is just keep rolling around and basically you just do it until it's well crushed. You can even go like this. Here are all of the ingredients for today's delicious and nutritious recipe. And of course, a dash of love. So 
So for the superstar of this recipe here, these dried lentils, you just want to take them and then rinse them a few times under cold water and then you're going to add three and a half cups of cold water to the two and a half cups of lentils and put them in a pot. So once you've put your lentils and water in a pot, I've already gone ahead um, so we can do the recipe and these are made, but when you first start, you're gonna add your water and lentils in a pot and you're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon pinch of salt and then you're going to cook it on high with a lid on for a few minutes and then take the lid off and watch until it starts to boil. Once it's boiling, then you're gonna turn it down to medium low, stirring occasionally, and every few minutes until they are fully cooked, like you see here. And once this is done, you're gonna set your lentils aside so that we can make the other part of the recipe, and finally we're gonna put the two together. Okay, so we've turned the uh, stove to medium high now, and the first thing you wanna do is add your oil, just like that. Next, you're gonna add the chopped up white onion. And then you're gonna add the red onion. And now, you're just gonna saute these for a few minutes until all the onions are golden brown. All right, so these have been cooking for a few minutes now. As you can see, they're a little bit golden. They're starting to golden. And now we're gonna add the yummy garlic, all of it. Just saute that. And at this point, you wanna just turn the stove down to about medium. And then next, you're gonna add your turmeric. So pretty, oh, I love that color. We're just gonna add our tomato paste. Now the really important thing at this point is that you make sure that you just keep on stirring because otherwise it's gonna not be how we would like it to be for this recipe. Okay, after you've sauteed this, stirring it around for a few minutes, then you're gonna add some water. This is a half a cup of water. Next, you're going to add the crushed tomatoes to the mixture. Woo, look at that. <laughs> God, food is so much fun. Just wanna give that a little, quick little mix. Mix that in. Okay, next I'm gonna start adding all of our spices. So we have our cumin, curry powder. Ah, look how beautiful that is. Granulated garlic, some cinnamon. Oh, I have such a love for cinnamon. And last but not least, all of our beautiful herbs. All right, so you wanna just keep stirring it, make sure, because it's gonna be bubbling a little bit. And then from here, I'm going to add the superstar of the show, all of the lentils that I had put aside from before. The lentils are an amazing bean. They are full of fiber and protein, and they're so inexpensive to buy. They're like a super food. So you wanna just stir it all together now. Okay, so at this point, you're just going to turn the stove down to medium low and stir everything around one last time. And now, I'm just gonna put the lid on and you're just going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. And you can do a little taste test by taking a spoonful. Mind you, I did not say a bowlful yet, just a little taste test. And you can adjust your salt and pepper accordingly. It's now time for my favorite part of cooking, which is the taste test and eating. <laughs> mm. oh, I just love curry, all the emulsion of flavors in there. Mm. So good. All right, guys. Well, I wish you could join me here. I'm gonna say bon appetit. I know you can't, so please comment below and let me know how this recipe went for you. And also in the comments below, 
please let me know what other recipes you would love for me to feature on my channel next. All right, that's it for this segment. I am wishing you guys a happy, healthy, harmonious day, and I'll see you next time.